Hey, tech fans. Welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Eric, your host, and we're here with Buddy the Dog, our co-host. Now, what are we doing? Well, you guys all know we built the brand new Wind Lion Totally Custom White Hackintosh slash PC. Now, this thing was a totally cool build, but we had to actually make some initial changes to get it up and running. And if my voice sounds like I have a frog, I apologize. I've been actually sick as a dog all week long and uh, still doing these videos for you guys. So check it out. Right off the bat, when I was trying to build this thing, the PCIe from OCZ, the boot drive I was gonna use, would not recognize the Mac OS X at all. So I couldn't get it to run with that whatsoever. So I had to pull that thing out and we switched it out for an A data. 128 gigabyte M SATA drive, which we partitioned in two different sections. We used one for the Mac OS and one for the Windows. So that's good to go. We also had to change the video card. The EVGA one that we were planning on using, it actually would only work over on the Mac Pro. For some reason, could not get it to boot in the PC whatsoever. So we gave up and I just got one from Gigabyte that we had that we used another build. That's the WinForce Edition. So we put that one in there. Everything's actually totally working great. Now this week, we're just gonna talk to you about some of the things that we did. First of all, how we overclocked it. We overclocked the CPU to 4.2. We just changed it very simply, up the voltage ever so slightly. We also set the XMP profile of the memory to 2133, so it's running faster than hell. Actually, we really increased our Geekbench score, man. It went from 13,800 to over 16K in scoring, which is actually amazing just from a simple couple changes because a lot of people, when they build their systems, they don't overclock it at all, and they a lot of times forget to set the XMP memory profile, but we show you how doing that really makes the system kick more ass. Another thing that we had just a slight problem with, I'll call it a wee problem, I won't call it a total problem, it's the audio. Now, inside when we were running Windows 7, absolutely no problems whatsoever, but once we did all the drivers, and this makes no sense whatsoever, by the way, and you're gonna agree it makes no sense. Remember, there are two different partitions, but as soon as we installed all the drivers on to the PC, as soon as we started the computer back up in the Mac world, we got audio, but it only came out of the rear audio jack. So we went out and we bought this new force, really cool headphone amp. It's a really small thing, sounds great. It's USB, works in both absolutely flawlessly. And hey, it's actually a really great headphone amp. So if you've got some really, you know, high ohm headphones, you want to listen to it, this thing actually kicks some ass. And anyways, from what I've read and from what I've heard, it seems like most Hackintosh users actually prefer to use an external audio source. USB seems to be very popular. Also, if you guys would like to pick one up, you guys can see that right below that like button, which I know you're gonna hit, and you can pick one up for yourself. Now, as far as media goes and storage, check this out. We used a pair of Kingston HyperX 3K 480 gigabyte SSDs, one for the scratch for the Mac, one for the scratch for the PC. And as far as the media storage goes, we took a single two terabyte drive, split it in half so that each system had one terabyte of media drive. Now, I know I see a lot of people like they made a lot of negative comments about the Thermaltake Level 10 GT. I don't know why, guys, because I dig it. For one thing, all of my drive bays are right here. Very simple, once you do the wiring in the case, anytime you wanna change any drives or do anything, add or subtract anything, it's all right here. And if your motherboard has hot swappability, hey, it's even better. You guys all know I use the Gigabyte, that's the Z77X UD5H. That's a really good motherboard. It's like one of the highest recommended for building Hackintosh systems. And the reason you're able to do this is this particular motherboard has a dual bio system, which allows you to not have to use the DSDT to boot up your system. Now, I know a lot of you other guys were asking about the key thing about turning it, and I initially wanted to do that as a hardware mod, but it ended up that we just didn't have to do that whatsoever. Now, when you first boot the system up, if you don't touch anything at all, it automatically boots into OS X 10.8.3 Mountain Lion. But if you want, you can hit the any key. Most of you guys have the any key on your computer, don't you? Where's the any key? And once you hit that any key, you have the option of choosing whatever OS you want to do simply by scrolling through. As you can see here, you can boot easily into Windows 7 or easily into the Mac OS, very simply. Easy, dual boot system, it rocks. 
We'll bring you guys another update next week as we actually compare all the scores against other machines. And then we'll jump into the PC side of things and see how this thing kicks ass in gaming. So me and Buddy will see you later. Make sure you hit that like button. And I was laughing. Some guy goes, oh, man, he's all, it's not fair if you say that you're going to make Buddy the dog sad if we don't hit the like button. I cry for you, man. They don't want to make Buddy and me sad. Yeah, I like the video, man. Don't break our hearts, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Are you serious? Come on. We're like just joking around here, man. We appreciate you hit the like button. And no, we do not make money off of you hitting the like button. Are you fucking kidding me? We like interaction with you folks. That's why we kick down you guys. Why would do the 100k system why we're giving you guys stuff some of you guys got no sense of humor but hey me and buddy the dog we're off to do some kung fu fight all right and one last thing folks before me and buddy hop out of here make sure you guys check out the surprise deal of the day in the link in the description below see ya